Hey everyone, it's me a Little Daisy here. I'm going to start off before we do the video telling you about the channel, The Pet Collective. Good girl, Daisy. As you all know, I'm a huge animal lover. I've got two cats. We used to have a dog. And I, I just love animals. I love pets. They're amazing. And about this channel, you can click in the link below. It'll be in the description. I'll have a link too in this video of their channel. And I've done another shout out uh, for them before. And they're really amazing. They really are like the best for just funny, cute animal videos. I keep watching the Katy Perry Dark Horse one with the kitty. It's got a little kitten's head. And uh, so definitely check them out. And if you like dogs, you can click over here. Somewhere here will be a little doggy videos. Just click it. It'll take you to the channel. You like kitty cats? Be over here somewhere. And please check it out. And thanks everyone for watching. Without further ado, let's roll this video. again everyone, Steven here, and I'm going to teach you how to draw the green arrow, but it's going to be from uh, the TV show, the CW show Arrow, and this, this has been requested a billion times, and so I'm sorry it took so long, but please let me know if you like it, and, and the best way to get your request, honestly, is just, just keep telling me in the comments, like if you post a request every single video, I'll usually get to it, because uh, you know I just see it the most. So I'm going to do this uh, in the same style as the, the Riddler one. Have you seen the Riddler, which is kind of that Arkham City, real high contrast uh, style. And this is because it was the way it was requested. And it's going to be a side view. I'm going to show you just, I'm going to really show you just how easy it is to, to make something look so awesome by just starting with simple, basic gesture lines. And all I'm going to do is like, just real simple lines, and I'm gonna keep it kind of dynamic. But the hood, he's got this where he wears the hood over his head. I want to make it a little smaller so I can fit the body in. Uh, but take note, the face. This is kind of where the nose will be coming out right there. And I'm gonna show you just how fast you can do it. I'm just doing real simple shapes here. The neck. And just je once you get used to doing gestural lines, you will absolutely be blown away at how quickly you'll draw, how, how much more comfortable you'll feel. And all I'm doing here, see, I'm just making basic shapes and just not really even shapes, but more or less forms. And like I, I'm noting right here where the shoulder is going to be. And you definitely have to have a basic understanding of anatomy to get better at this. I mean, that, that is something I always stress too, and you know every every single uh, artist that deals with drawing anything related to the human form is going to tell you that. So that is something, just any check out any kind of basic anatomy books and I'll do some reviews on that. But see all I'm doing here is just very simply laying down. And then you can even put under like the skull would be if you feel better. And that's just kind of forms. And something to note, see with the arm here, it kind of comes down. See how it's almost completely vertical. But with the arm, notice how like I said before, the arms tend to get skinnier as they get towards the wrist. And that's just our, the way we're designed as humans. But that's that's something that changed me. When I was told that with anatomy, it completely just clicked for me. And something that small can really change how you draw them. So see how this is wider and how it gets skinnier? Same with the legs. Legs will get skinnier. And here's the big exception, and this is so true. Look at other, like look at Disney, Tarzan, for example. That's just something off my, the top of my head. But also notice, you can exaggerate that. There's no set rules. Like a lot of artists, you know, they'll make this skinnier, the bicep and tricep, and then they'll make the forearm look huge. It's just a style thing. Uh, but, but in terms of general anatomy, in terms of very basic construction, that is the way it is for the most part. You have 
Uh, like I said, for the most part, you have a the arm gets skinnier. That, that's how we're basically constructed, uh, and that's always important. You always gotta kind of realize these things. But going on with the drawing here, and see how I'm just continuing these lines. And notice how it's about the same length. And I love doing these kind of drawings. But then the hand will just come in. And see how very simple we're just forming these lines. Say, and you got this basic kind of human form just by these basic outlines and messy little gesture lines. And just like I said before with the the Riddler one, and I'll post the link to the Riddler drawing. Your best friend when you're doing these types of drawings, your best friend really is value. Uh, value is key, I'm telling you. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you just how important it is. But say, that's, that's it. And like I said, that took four minutes. And you know, half the time I was spent just lecturing, you know, lecturing about anatomy and different things. But then like here, Basic little shape for the crap. What is that called? A quiver? A quiv? What? Did, that doesn't sound right. What the? What the heck is this called? The thing that holds the arrow in. Oh man, this just made me realize how awesome the green arrow is. Oh yeah, and please let me know how is this show? I heard a lot of people like it. It's got real good reviews. But I'm not gonna worry about the. See, I'm just making some lines. But look how messy it looks. But this is what I'm stressing so hard lately, is don't worry about if your initial drawing is messy, because that's that's just going to help you more. Let me move the camera over here. Because like I said, that's just going to help you more as you start to develop, because you'll feel more comfortable. And, uh, and you know, every artist is different how they approach it, but as long as you're enjoying what you're doing, like to me, this is the most fun I'm having drawing is by doing it my own little way here and a lot of artists do this with a gesture and uh, like I said as long as you're having fun get into it and as long as your end result looks good that's that's what matters you know just important to learn have fun and you know to have an awesome drawing at the end and then for the bow let me sketch this in here and of course what is the green arrow but that is trusty bow and what's crazy is when I looked at the image, I'm like thinking to myself, it looks like he's holding the bow. But then I realized, what the heck, it's coming out this way and there's no... I did a double take and he's not actually holding, he's holding it with his, his left hand. Please let me know in the comments, is, is he left handed with the bow? Because I am just really confused right now. But that, that's what it looks like, I don't see it coming out with this hand. It's really weird. I hope I get this right. But what for the bow... Uh, Think of it like a shape, another basic shape, and I'm just doing a line to show where it's going to flow. And see, and then it's going to go behind here. And like I said, that's so weird. And then it kind of, where the pants are here, it'll kind of come up. Just imagine it swooping behind. Then where it comes up, and it arches like that. It's got another little arch, then a... And notice it's going to be about on the same level. So where this is, that's something very important to keep in mind. You can exaggerate things. But the line, see how that little line that comes out? And I'll just go right there. I like that. You can make a little arch high. And whatever looks the best to you. Let's see it'll come out and the bow. See kind of like there. And all it is is a simple little line. See you got the bow kind of formed in. And all I'm doing is little simple lines, nothing uh, fancy. Then you know, just going back in and kind of racing those. Please let me know though in the comments. Please let me know if this. This style of drawing is helping you all learn because, uh, like I said, it's just really clicked for me here lately. Make sure it's even too. You want to make sure it's pretty straight line. It doesn't have to be completely horizontal. But yeah, isn't that crazy? 
the way the image I'm using, it looks like he's holding it, but he's actually not. I'm going to have to definitely break that line up. Well, let's get started with the fun part. So like I said before, value is what's going to matter here. And another thing, when you're drawing something, try to keep it, you know, don't be afraid to simplify things. Like, I really simplified the bow. And it's, that's okay, it's just part of the drawing. It's just the way I kind of want it. But like I said, the value, lots of darks. So, just to form the little details here first. Now the nose. I'll put the line here. And really, lots of dark values. This is all darkened. And don't be afraid to push your values. Now that's something a lot of people that are just learning are afraid to do with the nose. So it kind of drops. So it kind of curves. Let's get that shape. It kind of comes down here. All this is in value. Say so you got the beard, but say it's it's kind of cartoony looking. I mean, I'm keeping it realistic, but on little exaggerated lines. Let's say that. That's just a basic little face. Like I said, don't be afraid to exaggerate your lines and different things. Make sure the something that's why I'm changing it. Make sure though uh, it comes down. See where the nose is. The nose has to be in front of it. You don't want it to be poking out. So see, so you want the lips to be like that. I'm gonna work on the face a little later. You know, something that simple. I really want to push the values. That's that's why I'm kind of messing up the face because I'm more concerned about the values right now. But honestly, I'm not going to spend too much time on details. I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, concern myself more with texture or value. Let's see the lines here. Make these lines solid. And all back here is going to be dark, very dark. Especially behind here. And just keep a little creases. See how I'm doing like these little crease marks? Just so you can show the material that he's wearing. They're kind of like leatherish. Kind of like that. And over here. Like I said, all I'm really doing right now is just uh, pushing values. Just keep it loose, keep it sketchy. This is the most fun I have drawn. This is the most fun I have drawn when I just don't have to worry about precise lines and I'm just going out. See what I'm doing here now? For the hood. And this hood shape. Make the hood come up a little. And really it's all dark. Like even here. Just put a little highlight there. And honestly there's just highlights on the back, you know, and I'm just kind of making my own little style now. Uh, I want to put an X here. X, I always do that wherever it's solid black, because all that's like solid black. There's a little highlight like right around in this area. Erase that line. Just highlight it a little better. And really emphasize this. But see what we're doing now? Honestly, we're just having fun with the values. I'll go back. Like right here. I want to keep this one fairly sketchy. I don't want it to look like a finish, like every line is attached to this. I want it to, and play around with that. You know, a lot of times you get in the habit of making things, I guess I could say, making things too cartoony. And what I mean by that is it's like, a lot of artists get in the habit, younger artists and things, they get in the habit of like 
making every line needing to connect. You know, like a cartoon figure where every single outline or contour line has to connect, and that's that's something you want to get out of the habit. And that's why when you're drawing like this, especially this kind of drawing, you'll get better at just kind of uh, just working with value and just not concerning yourself with uh, I hope that makes sense. But you can kind of see here where I'm just really working up value. And I'm just making messy lines. But all these lines are forming something. And that's, that's kind of the point I'm getting at is every line is messy. But notice how they're forming an image. They're not, they're not just random lines in other words. Every line has a, a reason that I'm putting down. And like right here, see there's little highlights in the back area. And mainly there's highlights there, different ridges. And it's nothing, I'm not doing, I'm not even looking at the photo right now. I'm just going how I feel. But that way, those little highlights are there just so you can tell uh, there's an arm back there. Because you don't want to be solid, dark. Then I'm going to make an X again. All this will be darkened in. That's just when I go back, see X's, and right here, lots of bright, really bright right here. I'm going to just erase to emphasize that right there, and the strap comes down. You don't really see the strap, it comes down. There's a little mark in design here. And it's making little lines. But see, all I'm worried about, like I said, is just forms. Just worry about capturing forms. And there's like a pocket, I believe. See how fun? This to me, this is what, this is why with the start of this video, I really want to emphasize to you all how, uh, John really is very, very relaxing to me. Like, that's something, you know, I don't stress enough. Especially here lately, I've been loving drawing a lot. And, uh, that's, that's something I just... And doing drawings like these relaxed me so much because... You know, when I, obviously when I'm drawing off camera, I don't talk, you know. And that's it's so soothing just to hear a pencil and the paper and just... I really love it, man. I really do. And see? And see what I'm doing? I'm just keeping basic little veins, little lines here and there to show the material, how it folds. But honestly, I'm not, like, doing anything mind-blowing. I'm just kind of getting basic little areas of value. I hope that makes sense. This is a darker, gets a little darker here, and it lightens up. I'll show you. There's just little tiny details. I'm going to go back with the mechanical to make a couple little lines. Let's see how it goes so far.
And there you go, everyone. That's pretty much the basic thing. And you can see all I did was take the blending stump, go over the areas, and then just make the highlights. Basically just blend everything. I also noticed on the bow, see how I made a highlight there? That's the highlight, because otherwise you can't really tell how it's bending. See how I made those little designs. And all I'm going to do to kind of just add those finishing touches, and, and you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to show you, and I'm not going to show the whole video. I'm just taking a mechanical pencil, and just where the little design, uh, there's like some little lines here and there. That's all I'm really going to do is like right here, there's little designs and lines. And like right here too, little creases. So it'll just give it that little texture, and, and especially to get the material, the best way to do is maybe just make a couple little dabs, kind of like that, just different zigzags, and just go down the whole suit, and that'll really kind of add that special touch. So thanks again for watching, everyone. Please check out the, the Pet Collective channel again. Really love animals and things. That's right it. Thanks, everyone, and more videos on the way.